And what we're seeing right now is that due to certain interesting, let me describe it as that, decisions by national governments to be able to roll back what I would say is progress within the higher education industry, Germany has really taken advantage of that opportunity to be able to open its doors to international students for the purposes of them being able to relocate, not just to study, but then also to remain in the country after they are done with their studies. I think what the German government has brilliantly done has is that they have been able to identify a gap in the market from these four countries that we just talked about to be able to, you know, create a market or to be able to create an opportunity for the country in itself. It's no secret that the German labor force is currently missing some 2 million at the last count skilled workers. And this is where the government has sat down to realize that we cannot fill this gap, you know, just from the EU or from the European markets. We need to be able to attract foreign talent. And this is not just talent, you know, from countries which do not form part of the EU, but it's also from countries like Ghana, where I come from, from Uganda, Stephen. Um, it's countries, you know, within Southeast Asia and countries from within the Americas. 